Welcome aboard. Today, we're diving into the design and functionality of the NT19V second generation LCD controller board, a development by ICS Components for marine display applications. This rugged board was tailored for yacht bridge displays, meeting specialized OEM requirements for famous marine grade systems with advantages such as multi-source support, instant input selection, and physical controls for reliability. In yacht environments, displays often need to support multiple input sources simultaneously. Navigation chart plotters, radars, sonar units, rear or deck cameras, and entertainment feeds. Accordingly, the NT19 V2 integrates eight video inputs, two DVI, three VGA, and three CVBS. This mirrors industry designs, which supports up to eight standard inputs, two DVI-D, one VGA, one DP, four composite. Why this configuration? Redundancy and flexibility. Supports both analog and digital signals, covering legacy and modern equipment. Operational efficiency. Hotkey switching minimizes operator workload and avoids menu navigation delays. OEM ready design matches the input layout of marine display systems, eliminating external switching hardware. 12 VDC power designed for a vessel's 10 to 16 VDC power bus. Built for maritime conditions, physical buttons are glove friendly and reliable in wet or rough environments. Touch screens alone may not suffice. Operating in a maritime environment demands quick, reliable control. The NT19V2 uses an on-screen display board with 10 physical buttons, 8 hotkeys for direct input selection, plus power and enter buttons. This allows immediate switching between sources, no complex menus, no delay. Here's a likely mapping for these 8 inputs on board a yacht. In summary, ICS Components NT19V2 board features a multi-interface layout, rapid OSD control, and rugged operation tailored for yacht bridge systems. It enables seamless integration of navigation, safety, surveillance, and entertainment sources, delivered with OEM polish and reliability. Thanks for watching. If you'd like a deeper dive into the hardware architecture, firmware behavior, pinouts or power rails, leave a comment down below. Safe sailing.